G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews and more importantly welcome back to the Bull Table on a Fixed Wing Friday and what have I got for you today? Well I just want to get you prepared for this project I'm doing and I, I sort of alluded to this quite a while ago I bought obviously as you know I've got a Hobby King Pulse Jet I've reviewed this the first one was a piece of crap this is slightly better I gather now they've actually changed the construction instead of this sort of horrible um, two shells welded together and then having the snot ground out of it I gather now they have a tube and they have a, uh, a perhaps a spun piece here at the front so the new engines are a lot better made so I gather I don't have one I'm not going to waste money buying one if Hobby King want to send me one I'm happy to review my review and sing its praises if it's better but what I want to do here is a project which will let anybody get a jet powered RC model in the air for the minimum amount of money and I looked long and hard to try and find an airframe that would be suitable for using with a pulse jet and a lot of my first choices were just not practical they just didn't work out I'll show you an example the reason I originally bought this wing netic here was because I thought hey that'll be a great design for a pulse jet now as you can see one of the key factors for a good pulse jet design airframe is that it has twin tails so that the tailpipe of the pulse jet isn't going to set fire to the tail of the, of the model now I thought this might fit quite well but on reflection um, it was a little bit too big and also the CG would have been an issue because if I put the engine right up the front like this then the fuel tank has to be under here and it's way forward of the CG so as the fuel is used it becomes tail heavy that's a bit of an issue and of course pulse jets like a lot of fuel and there's not a lot of space in there for fuel so this really just didn't tick enough boxes and that's when I saw the mini talon because it has the next best thing to twin towers has a v-tail there we go and the goal here is that we can mount the pulse jet up here so that it will be probably about here it means I can put the fuel tank directly under here it's not too far ahead of the CG and it means that the tailpipe of the pulse jet will go between those two fins if I can get an angle on here go between those two fins and thus we won't set fire hopefully to the model now it's all a lot of ifs and hopefullys and maybes there but uh, this is EPO foam and as we know EPO foam doesn't like heat this is a pulse jet as we know pulse jets create immense amounts of heat you can see this has only been run for a few seconds it looks already blued and bronzed up here uh, oxidation taking place these things get red hot if you don't know that go and look at my review of the Hobby King pulse jet and you'll see when I fixed it and got it running runs red hot so I have a whole lot of strategies here now this isn't the first pulse jet powered model I've built it'll be the first foam pulse jet model but there are several good strategies for reducing the heat transfer I have some thermal blanket which you can get from Banggood it's cheap as beans it's designed to sit between a, a solid fuel stove and the wall or whatever you know basically to stop heat I'm going to use a layer of that and I'm going to use some al aluminium tape um, somewhere sometimes in America it's called aluminum tape it's a self-adhesive foil tape quite thick it's used for panel repairs on vehicles I'm going to use that as well to reflect the heat away because there are two aspects to stopping heat from melting something one is to insulate it and the other is to reflect the heat so we'll have an insulating blanket and then we'll have the aluminum to reflect the heat so that should preserve our foam from all but the worst punishment and there will still be some be careful though some some caveats we're gonna have to launch this thing pretty quickly because when we get some airflow going over the the engine and over the plane it's going to carry the heat away but when it's sitting there static not doing anything the heat will radiate out and it'll even melt out here as far as this it'll melt away the tips on these control surfaces if we're not very very careful so a lot of careful planning has to go into this um, the airframe itself will probably be pretty much unchanged apart from the addition of the thermal blanket and the pulse jet mounting and the aluminum foil but what I will be doing obviously is altering the way we get in because I need to put a fuel tank in here it needs to be accessible so I might have to make a, a new hatch here I'm not too sure yet see how we go and I'll also look at putting in a fuel shuttle valve because the problem with the pulse jet is they can be hard to stop once they're going they can be hard to stop there's nothing worse than if this thing takes to the air starts fluttering like mad or something goes wrong you need to be able to turn the motor off and there's no switch on these things you know there's no you've got to actually stop the fuel so I'll be making a fairly simple but hopefully very effective fuel shuttle valve which we will include as part of the project so there we go I'll be working on this over the next couple of days getting it hopefully ready to fly maybe even before the end of this weekend so it should be an exciting time and as I say the goal here is so that anybody can go along buy one of these super cheap airframes got this one from Banggood paid for it with my own hard-earned cash and a cheap pulse jet such as the Hobby King pulse jet put them together and instead of 
paying thousands and thousands of dollars for a jet-powered RC model. Well, what are you looking at? I think these are about 70, 80 bucks. And these are about, well, they, they were 90 when I bought them, probably less than that now. So for under 200 bucks plus your radio gear, you can have a jet-powered plane. And it'll be damn fast and exciting and maybe even set stuff on fire, but we'll find out. We'll obviously look at safety is gonna be a big issue here. We need to make sure that we're not going to set stuff on fire. So I'll be going through the safety issues. So if you've always wanted a jet powered RC model, stick with me because there's gonna be a lot of exciting stuff in this project. And if it works, because there's always a risk it won't, if it works, then you can rush out, buy the same stuff, build your own and be the fastest model at your flying field, at least the loudest. So there you go. Now, if you've got questions, comments, anything to say, put them in the comment section on this video. I'll do my best to answer them. Other news for this Fixed Wing Friday, the people from the Mini Race Wing sent me a new motor because that DYS they sent me was a piece of crap. So I've got a new motor, um, which I'll use. I'll replace the 2207 Sunny Sky motor I have on that craft and see if it goes any faster with this. Not that it was slow with the 2207. It was pretty quick. So stay tuned for an update on that. I know the crowd, I think the crowdfunding for this has finished, but it's still an interesting model. And I find that I think Hobby King are announcing an FPV racing wing. They maybe may have done it already, but one thing I noticed about their announcement, because I got some advanced knowledge, is that it's not too dissimilar to the mini race wing. It has fins, quite low profile fins on the wing, which also act as fences. It has elevons on the outer edge here, not full length, and you know, quite big elevons on the end of the wings, and they reckon they're really effective. So there's a little bit of this DNA in the Hobby King one. Of course, Hobby King will say, no, it's pure coincidence, and it probably is, but it's something to look at. And of course, that Hobby King wing does look quite interesting. I shall, maybe they'll send me one and I can review it. Otherwise, I'd have to spend my hard earned cash. There we go. Um, that's it. I'm going to get on. Get the glue going. Get the glue. Get this thing all ready to go. Woohoo. Stay tuned. More noise, smoke, and excitement coming on Fixed Wing Fridays this week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.